The film Balcony brings up a lot of different aspects of social justice. Um, before we even get into the main plot of the story, the narrator talks about the family that the film's about um, and talks about the assumptions that many people in the community have made about them. She discusses why it's only the father and the daughter in the house and talks about um, how the town believes that the mother's been taken out by an air raid in their home country. They also assume that the daughter's unhappy, neglected, maybe even abused by her father or possibly even other men that come and go in the house. We later find out in the movie that the narrator herself is the one being abused. She's projecting all of these things that have happened to her and all the things that she's living through on this new family and her new friend. Um, the community is really quick to believe th this for a lot of different reasons. Um, the family is quiet, they keep to themselves, which of course that means that um, they're up to no good, they're hiding something or something more. Um, because of their ethnicity, everyone's really uh, easy to believe that they must be into drugs or maybe even something more dangerous. Um, one point that the film touches on, which I found pretty um, interesting, is the fact that the daughter allows her teachers to believe that she's had little to no education because of where she comes from. From this instance in the movie, you can tell that the daughter feels an intense sense of identity threat because she's exhibiting a, a real oversensitivity to the possibility of discrimination by this teacher. Um, when I saw this part of the movie, I was a little surprised because the teacher seems to really care about this student and genuinely seems interested in trying to help her. Um, however, I, I, after some critical reflection and some discussion, I can see where the daughter might be coming from. Um, you know, after dealing with discrimination and assumptions about you and your culture your entire life, it can become easier just to say what you think people want to hear, what you think that they're already thinking anyways. This kind of goes back to the last discussion that we had about students and um, academically underachieving because they become what they think their teachers think they think they should become. It all boils down to each and all, every one of us um, challenging our own beliefs by critically reflecting on our own reactions towards multicultural issues. Um, and from there, it becomes really important for us to be mindful during interactions with everyone that we come in contact with, bearing in mind that we all come from different backgrounds and have many different experiences um, which affect our beliefs. Once we ourselves become mindful um, of our biases and our views, we can change the way the following generation becomes socialized. And I think that's really where we're going to see a change in our society.